Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the rarest automotive occasions in the world, the launch of a new Rolls-Royce. I'm Jodie Kidd and it's my great pleasure to be here at the home of Rolls-Royce on this very important day. And joining me here at this spectacular headquarters in the heart of the English countryside is the driver of the brand's success story since 2010, Chief Executive Torsten Muller-Artvath. Welcome everyone watching online and thanks for joining us as we reach out to the world from our home here in the United Kingdom. And today is indeed a momentous day for us. It's a day that marks a new dawn for our company. Welcome back. This broadcast is fully interactive, so if you've got any question that you want to ask Torsten, please submit them via the box on this screen. And in about 15 minutes or so, I'll be putting your questions to the CEO. So Torsten, we've just seen the most incredible dawns. Is that video setting up um, something maybe for this landmark day? It certainly is, Jody. And the launch of our new car, the Rolls-Royce Dawn, represents a new age of open-top super luxury motoring. Yeah, because I've always thought that the Phantom Drophead was the ultimate in open-top luxury motoring. But tell us a little bit more about the Dawn. Like the Phantom Drophead, the Dawn is a true four-seater, but Dawn will attract a younger, even more social customer. And with Dawn, we are extending the frontiers of the Rolls-Royce brand. We believe it's quite simply the sexiest Rolls-Royce ever made. And like every Rolls-Royce that we have produced since 2003, our new Dawn will be manufactured right here at the home of Rolls-Royce, our beautiful and contemporary high-tech facility tucked away in the rolling hills of Sussex. With Phantom, Ghost and Wraith, Rolls-Royce has once again become, and here I'm quoting the media, the maker of the best cars in the world. And these are the cars that have driven our five consecutive years of record growth since 2009. Phantom, Ghost and Wraith. So I heard that this new car has a classic Rolls Royce as its muse. That's right. The Silver Dawn Drophead is one of our rarest ever cars. Only 28 were built, all by hand. Just look at the sensuous and voluptuous lines of this beautiful 1952 example, which so inspired our design team. Our new Rolls-Royce Dawn will create exactly the same feeling of La Dolce Vita. That is a seriously beautiful car. But how have you translated that Dolce Vita feeling into the new Dawn? As you are about to see, our new Dawn is strikingly seductive, like no other Rolls-Royce drophead before. And it will be the most social of super luxury motor cars. And now the moment has arrived for us to show you our beautiful new car. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the much anticipated Rolls-Royce Dawn.
Torsten, she is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's everything you've promised. You must be so proud. I'm very proud, but I'm particularly very proud of all my colleagues who are the creators of this beautiful masterpiece. Yeah. So let's take a closer look on what our craftspeople here in Goodwood did. Look at the beautiful open pour wood deck. And the waterfall effect between the rear seats. This intricate hand stitching on the mandarin leather. And the lustrous midnight sapphire paintwork. And of course, the perfect hand painted coach line. She truly is luxurious. I mean, just exquisite, every single detail. She is a genuine Rolls Royce. But before we go and answer the questions with the media, um, I think we're gonna listen to a few of your colleagues. That's right. First, we'll hear from Giles Taylor, our design director, and he will talk a bit more about the gorgeous design of Dawn. I'll be back in a few moments to answer your questions. But in the meantime, Giles, it's over to you. Thanks very much, Torsten. There's a wonderful sense of occasion with Dawn. From the very early concept sketches, the designers sought this purity of line, this simplicity of form, maybe perhaps three or four lines that would evoke the glamour and the style of some of the most beautiful drop heads ever created by Rolls-Royce. Also important was a crisp modern edge that would fit the world of our contemporary customer. As we come to the front view of Dawn, Perhaps the key element, the key feature is this lovely sense of low stance given by the wide front windscreen. And then as we come to the grille, perhaps the most important part of Dawn, this is where the power, the authority is. This is where our beautiful flying lady sits. We've recessed the grille bar slightly and the body side lines flow very naturally. They converge very beautifully underneath the grille to promote that sense of power. It's with the side view of Dawn that the real strength of character of the design comes through. This sleek, far centerline profile that starts with the heavily raked front screen, the line that stretches over the four occupants and plants down effortlessly onto the tail of the car. It was essential right at the start of the design process that this car would look superb with the hood up, stunning with the hood down. This proportion of metal of the door to the glass, the way the canvas rolls over, gives the car a very solid, unique character with the hood up. But let me tell you about the more seductive, the more sensual element of Dawn. The line that starts in the front wing, works underneath the glass and rises just enough over the rear axle, this subtle beauty of line that redefines a sensual side to the Dawn character. With the roof down, this is the glamour shot. You feel like a star and you look like a star. The line that we've designed that starts at the base of the A-pillar rises just nicely around the rear occupants as though offering a sense of privacy, a sense of protection. It encircles the cockpit to give that sense of sociability, that convivial atmosphere, just right for open-top motoring. And here we are at the rear of Dawn. There's a lovely sense of convergence as the line swings out over the rear wheel, onto the rear lamp cluster. Graphics are harmonious, surfaces are simple, no line should feel forced. And on the rear deck cover, we've taken the Canadel panelling and delivered a superb piece of craftsmanship, mirror-matched open pour wood that tumbles naturally into the interior as though exterior and interior are perfectly combined. In a moment, we'll be seeing early reactions to Dawn from our customers at the Rolls-Royce Summer Studio in Sardinia with our sales and marketing director, Fintan Knight. But before that, let's go to Philip Kuhn, our chief engineer, he will tell you the lengths we've gone to to engineer the quietest drop head in the world. Hello. Behind me, you can see the all-new Rolls-Royce Dawn fresh out of the paint shop and starting its journey down the assembly line. We have engineered the ultimate open-top four-seater super luxury car. It's not a Wraith convertible. It's a car that has a character all of its own. 
It's not only about the amazing new roof, it's the perfect blend of every component. From the body panels, of which 80% are new, to the new suspension setup, even the tires are new. The engineering highlight is the phenomenal new roof. The design resolves the issue that most other manufacturers can't, making an open top car look beautiful with the hood down and up. The tailored French seam is key to sleekness and silence. I am also very proud to report that our new roof can open and close in just 22 seconds, all the while driving at up to 50 km per hour. Yet another innovation. So engineering the roof was absolutely crucial and I'm proud to say that Dawn is the quietest soft top available anywhere today. This is the anechoic chamber. Here we are using precision instruments to make sure that we have eliminated all unwanted sounds. So when you get into the car, all you can hear is the sound of silence. Thank you, Philip. I'm here in Porto Cervo, Sardinia. Built in the 1960s by the Aga Khan for the jet set. Business magnates, A-listers, even royalty. And many of them, patrons of the Rolls-Royce brand over the years. We're always expanding ways of interacting with our customers. New ways that go beyond the dealership only model. And that's why I'm here. I'm meeting our most valued clients while they're on vacation. Discussing with them what they most want from the world's pinnacle super luxury car brand. So I'm at their service and so is my team at the Rolls-Royce Summer Studio. Come and see what it's all about. Here at the Summer Studio, we make it very easy for our clients to engage with us. They are very busy people, often time poor, but they know what they want. Here, they can just drop by and to discover what we're about over a glass of champagne, or even take one of our extraordinary cars for a spin on some of Sardinia's most breathtaking roads. After only two years, the Summer Studio has become a real social magnet for ultra high net worth individual customers. Already this year, we've held several events. And it's also at locations like these that we show selected clients our most advanced prototypes of our newest motor cars. And here in summer, we showed them the new dawn. And the reaction was fantastic. My guests told me this is the exact car they've been waiting for. The new pinnacle in open top super luxury car motoring. The Dawn is a modern and definitive Rolls Royce that a younger, more social customer is going to adore. It is so relaxed, yet so amazingly alive and open to new possibilities. And so far, everybody has their own favorite feature of the Dawn. And mine is this idea of a shared experience that only a true four-seater drophead can provide. So thank you for joining me for this peek into the lives of some of our customers and their reactions to this fabulous new Rolls Royce. And now, it's back to Jody and Torsten. Thank you, Finton. Some amazing insights about the birth of the new Rolls Royce Dawn from the senior team here at Rolls Royce Motorcars. Welcome back to the home of Rolls Royce. And as you can see, we are sitting in the beautiful customer center where many Rolls Royce customers come to take delivery of their cars. Before we begin the live Q&A sessions, I wanted to draw to your attention that the fact that all the collateral you need, including the press packs in multiple languages, images and B-roll, are now available for you to download from this microsite. You can either click on the link below this iframe if you can't wait, but if you can, wait until the broadcast is ended and the site will refresh and the content will appear. Now. As we promised you at the top of the show, this is you, the media's opportunity to have the questions you've been submitting on this website over the last 24 hours answered by Torsten. If we don't get to your specific questions in the allotted time, you will receive, I promise, an answer from the Rolls-Royce communication team. So, Torsten, a few lucky customers have had a sneak preview at the dawn. What has their reaction been? Same reaction as you, Jody. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the car. 
Uh, many of our clients already sat in the car. They didn't have the chance to drive it, right. but the reaction is outstanding and we have already quite a nice order book on our hands. Fantastic. Right, so we're going to go to our first question from Manu Pramad, who's all the way over in Malaysia. And he says, we too are quite excited that this is the first online launch in the brand's history. But why have you chosen to go online? Now, we have chosen uh, that kind of unveil uh, this time for two reasons. Mm. One reason is when you look into the worldwide media landscape, you see that there's much more happening in the meantime, blogging, online, networking and all that stuff and we have talked to many of the journalists, the colleagues worldwide and uh, many of them are very interested in these kind of broadcasting. Yeah. And the second reason of course is that when you look into our customer base, uh, our customer base is getting younger and younger and younger, global people mm -hmm. used to uh, uh, interactive communication, used to all kind of tabloids, whatever. Mm -hmm. So for them it is as well a must uh, to create uh, what I would call an unveil uh, in a true global sense what we are doing here today. And number three, let me add that, I think an unveil at a motor show is fine. Yeah. but is in my view not any longer sufficient worldwide to really get uh, all the interests together we see from journalists who come but also from our customers. Yeah, absolutely, moving with the time. So, uh, next question from Nandini Sengupta, who uh, is from The Times in India. The luxury car market is moving increasingly towards China and the rest of Asia. How important is that shift for Rolls-Royce? I mean, for us it is important to be globally well balanced, let me say it that way. Uh, I think we are not putting all our eggs in one basket, but of course Asia is important. Uh, everybody knows what's currently happening in the Chinese market, contraction of the luxury business for many, many reasons. I don't want to uh, go on that now. Uh, but of course uh, Asia is important for us, in particular let me say that India is of course uh, due to a long-standing tradition we have in that market very very important uh, for us as a brand. Yeah absolutely. Um, I just have to say we're getting hundreds and hundreds of questions in so I'm trying to scroll through them. Um, right we've got one from Zhao Yibo from Motor Trend in China. The contemporary Rolls-Royce legend has been built on a marriage of heritage and innovation. So what has been inherited and what has been created in the new dawn? It's a very good question. Both is extremely important for us as a brand, mm -hmm. knowing that the brand is uh, over 112 years old, but of course it can't be only heritage. So out of heritage is the name. Dawn is a name used also in the past for Rolls-Royce uh, motor cars. And of course, the other side is the innovation part. And uh, what you have seen here uh, from my colleague Philip Kuhn, but also from Giles Tyler, is that we have put lots of innovations into that car, mm -hmm. particular all around the four seating of this car. So rest assured, this is a truly innovative car. Fantastic. OK, so we've got one actually from Robin Montague, who's from Spirit FM. That's our local oh, radio here. station right. here. Um, and he says, how will the introduction of the latest model affect the Rolls-Royce factory at Goodwood on its workers and the local community? I think everybody knows that we are truly committed here to Britain. I mean, Rolls-Royce is an integral part of Britain and an integral part also for our success is to be British. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, we are fully committed here to Goodwood. And uh, everybody who has followed us here over the last couple of years has seen what kind of investments happened here down in Goodwood. We have recently opened up our technology and logistics center close by here. So for that reason, rest assured, also Dawn, of course, will be built here in the beautiful space of Goodwood. Fantastic. Okay, uh, next question from Jens Drala from Auto, Motor ah. und Sport, which you might know. Herr Drala, uh, hallo, <laughs> freut mich, dass Sie uns hier zuschauen. Well, here we go, directly. So he says, what potential does Rolls-Royce see in the segment of four-seater cabrios? Uh, we see very good potential in that. That's the reason why we've built this car, of course. Uh, uh, one reason is that we build a true four-seater that we are convinced that uh, you need to offer also more space in the back room of the car. This car gives four adults 
plenty of room to enjoy themselves in driving this car on a beautiful coastline or whatever. And it is what we call the most social Rolls Royce ever built. And for that reason, it is very important for us to have a true four-seater. Rolls Royce is always about what I would call definitely not cramped environments, yeah. but spacious environments. And this car is a true four-seater and not a two plus two, as many, many other cars we all know in this segment, where you normally can only squeeze maybe children into the back yeah. here. Certainly not me. Two adults <laughs> and also you will sit properly in the back of the door. Right, fantastic. Right, okay, so um, next one. We've got a journalist in Newport Beach in California. I understand that the US is your largest market. Do you expect the West Coast, which is where they're from, uh, to be a natural habitat for the dawn? The US is a very important market for us. It is our number one market for years and uh, will also continue to be our number one market for the next years. So for that reason, you can really uh, expect that Dawn will see a stunning reception also by our US customers, in particular all these lovely spots like uh, 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 California, like Florida, where the sun is out. This will be truly the spot for Dawn. Mm -hmm. And I mean, imagine this lovely car, to sit in this lovely car and to cruise down the Pacific Coastway and Highway is the best on earth. Absolutely. I've driven it many times. It's beautiful. Um, so, right, that's it from our questions. <clears throat> we really have had so many, but I just wanted to ask one for myself. I mean, how important is this day been for you? I mean, for us, it is very important. You can imagine we were working on this beauty here for years. Uh, it is that a dream comes true now, launching this uh, car into the world. And uh, that's the reason why we have also chosen that format here. So we were all very excited. We are probably even more excited next week when we launch it again in Frankfurt at the Motor Show. Yeah. So we are proud, very proud to have this car here now within Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Torsten. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for today on this truly momentous day for Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. Thank you for joining us online from around the world on this historic day at the home of Rolls-Royce at Goodwood. But from us, thank you very much and goodbye.